Well, the Sawbrock Tour has officially begun. And Albany night one, opening night, we see John playing the Nebula Silver Sky live. And now this wasn't totally unexpected. He posted to his Instagram kind of a teaser rig picture with a bunch of Silver Skies and the amp rig and the Nebula was one of them. I remember when I first saw this finish in early 2020 with some NAM footage, I believe it was from Anderton's, it was their video that I saw, and I was just blown away by how incredible that finish looked in person. I was so blown away, in fact, that I called up a PRS dealer to pre-order one pretty much immediately. And now that I don't have it anymore, I'm missing my guitar more than I ever have. You guys will be seeing some B-roll footage that I, that I took when I owned that guitar. Fast forwarding now to the Saw Brock tour being 2022 now, seeing that guitar finally on stage again with John is amazing. And it's something I honestly didn't think would happen again. I thought that that time had passed. And if you're wondering why I said on stage with John again, well, this is because we got to remember that in early 2020, after the Nebula was announced, John actually played the Nebula at the Hotel Cafe when David Ryan Harris was playing a gig there, he joined him on stage and the guitar he used was a Nebula Silver Sky. Other than a few different live streams from his house, kind of when we all were stuck at home, we never really saw John with a Nebula. That one performance and those few live streams. So to see it now live with him during the Sob Rock tour, a part of me kind of thought that moment had passed. I didn't totally expect it to be brought out, but clearly John wants to let that guitar have its moment to shine and get that stage presence that it honestly commands and des deserves to have. Now at this time, I'm sure a bunch of you guys are gonna be saying, well now didn't he give his Nebula Silver Sky to Corey Wong? And yes, he did. Now I'm gonna kind of break this thing down and I think you guys will follow and go with my train of thought on this one. Now John's Nebula Silver Sky was probably a production model guitar as far as kind of John's Silver Skies are concerned at least. I don't think there's really any prototyping going on we have no evidence to really suggest otherwise. And in giving it to Corey Wong, it did become the last Silver Sky ever released out into the public. And that's kind of what the whole hype was around with this guitar. And this guitar is the same one we saw at Hotel Cafe and in those Instagram live streams. The only time we've ever seen John with a Nebula. It's the same guitar, his personal Nebula that he was using. That's now the one that Corey Wong owns. This one, I believe you could consider serial number 501 because we know the nebula was a run of 500. I don't think John would take out of the pool of 500 as that's limited enough as it is for the public to have his own silver skies. I don't think he takes serial number one or serial number 500. I mean it's possible but I just don't think he'd do that and take away from the pool that was supposed to be for the public. He would have his own. Now obviously John giving Corey Wong his personal nebula happened very recently. And with the Sawbrock tour right around the corner, I believe at least John probably, at least before he gave that specific guitar to Corey Wong, or shortly after, decided that he wanted to showcase the Nebula finish live on stage during the Sawbrock tour. So he called Paul up, and what I believe happened is, is that he requested a current version Silver Sky, like his current spec, at least you guys know my thoughts on the subject. If you haven't seen the video I made on it, it'll be carded up above for you guys. But basically he asked for his current spec Silver Sky, but just finished in Nebula. So just another Nebula guitar, but this time being at least a 2022 spec wise guitar or whatever he's kind of tweaking or prototyping at the time. You guys know what I'm saying. So this Silver Sky, we could call Sawbrock Nebula or SRN as I might refer it to in the future because we have Sawbrock one and Saw Brock two being the Roxy Pink and the Moxan guitars that we've seen him already using. So this is what I personally think went down when John gave his own personal Nebula to Corey Wong. I think this guitar we are seeing is a totally up to date as far as his specs are concerned model. Just the finish is done in Nebula because of course PRS can duplicate that finish if they needed to. And for John, of course, they're going to make that happen. Now it is possible he had another Nebula just in the vault from when they were made. So it could be an old spec guitar, but I highly, highly, highly doubt that is what happened. I think that if he's playing on stage, these different guitars, he's gonna at least be testing out different stuff or have them kind of up to current speed. I don't think he's gonna go back and play 
a older spec Silver Sky. I just don't think that's what is happening here, at least. But I gotta kind of say that that is a possibility, of course. And there you guys have it. I just wanted to touch on the Nebula Silver Sky being finally showcased on stage in a way it deserves, even though this probably isn't a 2020 Silver Sky, it's, we're still seeing the same finish, you guys get what I'm saying. And I do miss having the Nebula, I gotta say, now more than ever, I miss owning that finish. It is gorgeous and in person too, you guys, it's something else. Experiencing the color change and the flip-flop finish, it's just nuts. It's a wicked guitar and I'm glad it's getting the showcase and getting the spotlight that it kind of deserves again being used with John, because I seriously didn't think that was ever going to happen. And with the Sob Rock Tour kicking off, I got a ton of content obviously coming focused on this tour. So you guys, please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more Sob Rock John Mayer content. It's coming onto my channel. And thank you guys, as always, so much for watching.